could take it down and take all the property away while our brothers and sisters were marching over to the uh, base. So what happened was they arrested Bill simply for saying it was his property, apparently, and calling it happy. What happened earlier was Bill was very frustrated. Bill lives out here. Another thing we're going to change. So, so what I want to do is I want to salute Bill Robinson because he stood up for his personal property and his own, and because of that, he was told that he was happy. So again, once again, people in the city of Phoenix, American citizens, are being arrested for being poor. This is wrong. Very wrong. I know. I know many police officers from the 855 Military Police Company, the 860th Military Police Company, and they would not agree with this. So, uh, I would just like to ask all of you, on Monday, uh, we should contact, I will try to get the number out to the people here, to the Civilian Police Board for Phoenix. And on Wednesday, go to the Phoenix City Council meeting, once again, in front of the cable TV cameras, and ask Mayor... Gordon and the city manager, why they think it's all right to arrest people for the crime of being poor in Arizona. And I also want you to ask Mayor Phil Gordon why he just reappointed the Bank of America president of Arizona to be on the Phoenix Sky Harbor Aviation Board, uh, giving this man preferential treatment, conflict of interest, billions of dollars, while they're throwing people in jail like my buddy Phil Robinson. So I want you, whether you're an atheist, Hope for the best for him. If you're spiritual like I am, religious, whatever, please pray for him because he's a very nice person and his other friend was arrested. I don't know his name. But once again, this is the second time Phil was arrested and now he will be thrown in Joe Pyle's gulag where he will be harassed and he will be taunted by sheriff's deputies. This is a violation of the First Amendment. Remember, we believe in our country. We love our country. 